Let's take a trip to Bethlehem, a small town in Israel. A teenager named David lives here. Look around. Do you see him? He's taking his father's sheep down into the valley to find food and water. Herding sheep is a job for kids. David isn't a kid anymore, but he's the youngest in a family of eight boys and two girls. Guess you got the chore nobody else wants. David knows that God has chosen him to be the next king of Israel. But here he is, stuck in a low-level job, like flipping burgers at a fast food chain. It looks like there is no way for him to rise to royalty. But but David is wearing his faith goggles. He believes that if God promised it, he will make it happen. In the meantime, he writes music and spends hours practicing with his sling. Once in a while, David gets a break from the sheep. Today, he's taking a care package to his three oldest brothers, who are fighting in King Saul's army. It's a fifteen-mile walk to the Valley of Elah. Look over at the far side of the ravine, past the stream. There's Israel's worst enemy. The Philistine army. <laughs> wow! Do you see that huge Philistine warrior? Goliath is at least nine feet tall and wears a hundred and fifty pounds of armor.、Yeah! He carries a super-sized sword and spear. No wonder he hasn't convinced any of Saul's soldiers to fight him one on one. But David is wearing his faith goggles, and he sees a puny human shaking his fist at the king of the universe. There's no way Goliath can win. David decides it's time to stand up for God and his country. Everyone else thinks David is a fool to take on Goliath with no sword or armor, but David is wearing his faith goggles, and he can see a totally different way to fight this giant. That sling he carries is no child's toy. It's a lethal weapon, and he knows how to use it. Besides, he has God on his side. So David heads down to the stream. Carefully, he selects five smooth stones about the size of a tennis ball. Definitely not pebbles. He notices that they seem unusually heavy for their size. Some of the rocks of the Valley of Elah contain a high concentration of barium sulfate, making them up to twice as dense as normal rocks. Now he's ready. When Goliath sees this young teen walking towards him. He's insulted. Maybe he's too near-sighted to see the sling in David's hand. Goliath's abnormal height is probably caused by a tumor in the pituitary、What? gland of his brain. Poor vision is a common side effect. Goliath is prepped for hand-to-hand -hand combat, but David has no intention of getting that close. With his sling, he can hit a target up to two hundred <laughs> yards away. His stone smashes into Goliath's、shy. forehead with the speed and force of a shot from a forty-five caliber pistol. Goliath doesn't even have time to react. Have you ever felt like David? Maybe you're the kid everyone picks on. Even your own family doesn't think you'll amount to much. Or maybe you have big dreams of what God wants you to do, but you can't imagine how they will ever come true. Is there a problem in your life that seems just too big to beat? Put on your faith goggles, like David, and you'll see that God's reality is totally different from what everyone else sees. He will empower you with surprising weapons of faith that will take down even the toughest of giants. When you put yourself on God's side, there's no way you can lose.